So the physicists have come up with many, many you know, interesting theories, including quantum mechanics and theory of relativity and so on. But at the end of the day, uh, the enigma of time is probably beyond any physicist's uh, best efforts to uh, come up with a model of the world. Because let's face it, um, when you were here <laughs> yesterday, you were the same person, but you're a different person. Time has passed and you have accumulated some memories and you can never go back to your past. Of course, some physicists have this uh, theory of time travel uh, based on some solutions for equations in general relativity, but that is a science fiction at best right now. So, you know, this passage of time seems to be absolute. Uh, this passage of time which makes the present into the first and the future into the present and it goes on and on and on and on and nobody understands how or why. Albert Einstein famously admitted that he actually didn't understand the passage of time. So, you know, um, I think the great danger is that, you know, when you have uh, your pet theory of the universe, whatever it is, it could be the grand unified theory or whatever, you know, uh, string theory, membrane theory, or whatever. You know, the great danger is that uh, you feel complacent. You know, you become uh, convinced that you have this final theory of the world. So everything is explainable, which is not. <laughs> I mean, you know, let's face it, even taking this small problem of the enigma of the passage of time, no physicist or any other researchers in other fields can claim that they have the final answer. Nobody has the final answer. So I think, uh, you, know, you know, we pro most probably only live once, and uh, this is our precious life. Uh, it'll be stupid. <laughs> to live this life as if uh, you understood everything because mystery is a great um, activator of our life's instincts and uh, as long as we feel that there are many enigmas left for us to uh, explore um, we can probably have a really interesting life and you know uh, because then we our minds will not be closed and will be open to many new investigations so i think it is very important to keep the enigmas alive in your heart and um, i think uh, it suffices to just to focus on the ego of time because uh, as uh, as we have you know, confirmed uh, nobody has understood the ego of time isn't that wonderful? Nobody has understood the enigma of time. Isn't that wonderful?